Everything appears to be merging toward such an outcome. But despite very advanced sciences, we continue to hold very flawed concepts, even of our larger environment. But as with our approach to religion, cultural differences, economics, and environment, we have been doing everything on the wrong paradigm, which is failing us at a very deep level. We keep visualizing and we teach this in schools to all the children that the solar system has the sun in the middle and planets going in circles around it like this. And we, I mean, in my school, we even had a little device where you had the sun in the middle and you could turn the little uh, thing on the bottom and, and the planets would go around. And, you know, is this true? No, absolutely not. In fact, thinking of the solar system this way is equivalent to thinking the Earth is flat. Uh, the sun is moving at thousands of miles per second through space. And our planets are following, producing a huge elliptical coil in space. And year after year, we do not trace the, the same uh, circle in space. We're actually thousands and thousands and millions of miles from where we were the year before. So to think of our solar system as some flat structure that's, uh, that's stationary is again the result of isolating a system and trying to analyze it. And, and typically when you do so, you get the wrong data. As soon as you open the system and you realize the solar system is inside the galaxy and moving through space, then you realize that actually we're making a pilgrimage, literally, through space as we evolve. And you could even think of it in the concept of a, of a vacuum structure, that we are embedding all of our evolution on the structure of the vacuum as we move through that great spiral we're producing through space. Every single individual on our planet producing that very specific spiral in space and we could follow it back for any individual all, about, all the way back when, to when they were in the womb of their mother which connects their spiral with their mother's spiral and then follow that back and again and again and again and that is the continuity of the information inside the gene, the gene structure of our evolution through space and now we, we get a much more complete view of the structure of the mechanics of our evolution.